Hey, this is Dave Wise. Welcome to our channel. We are here in A Body Heaven. And this is a, this may be one of the nicest 1968 Barracudas I've ever seen. This is original paint. And it, if you watch any of, any of my channels and you see what I look for, it's always originality. And you know, this is, this is no different. So as we're looking at this vehicle, you know, the die lot stamp numbers is something I always pull. And this one, while we're right here, you could even see the original trunk seal, the die lot stamp there, die lot stamp in the bracket. There's a die lot stamp on that bracket. All the hardware, trunk mat, it's, it's all original. The, um, the jack, the board, the other die lot stamp numbers, again, you know, once these cars are restored, many times this is filled in with primer or paint. The wire tags, wire tags are in place. You can see the proper finishes on all the nuts, the side markers, the jack, and even something you very rarely see is the adhesive strip tape for the weather stripping is still in place and that you only see on original cars so all the die lots if you were picking up on that there's a 34 right there you look under the under the weather seal here under the under the dutchman panel hopefully that'll pick it up it's giving me a hard time, but that is, there it is, 36. These others are 36, 34, 38. So they're all within, within the right range to be original body panels. So like I say, if you're looking down this, I know this video doesn't do this car much justice, but it is an original paint car. Has its factory flaws in it. Uh, the interior, and here's the cool thing about it, burgundy, the gauge cluster, you gotta love the Stuart Warner, and yep, it's a four-speed. Oh, did you mention there's three to three, four, or four-speed? Yep, yeah, three to three, four-speed. Formula S, and like I say, the, the amazing part is that it, it, it's all original, all the paint. The engine compartment, there's some go faster stuff on it, but the, uh, the good thing is that the owner was fortunate enough. You can see that wall of 340, 3D3, and 440 manifolds. He has the original set. We, uh, we just looked at those. Matter of fact, let's just walk over there. So this, this car was built in 67. And right there are the 67 dated manifolds. And anybody that knows A-bodies, you know what we're looking at on that wall. There's 383 and 440 A-body manifolds. That's the largest collection I've ever seen hanging on a wall. <laughs> so the interior doesn't do it much justice, but this is just absolutely flawless. The four-speed, the dash the gauges, the door panels, everything about this car. So back at the engine compartment, a few go faster stuff, but you know what? That's what was done back in the day. But still, just don't miss the oversight of this being an original paint car. That's original, original motor with the transmission that originally yeah, came out. Yeah, original motor with the original four-speed transmission. So are you ever, ever going to take this back and... Take the headers off it and put the manifolds on, or are you just having fun with it? it it's fun to drive the way it is, but it might, yeah, I'd probably make, put it back to original. It wouldn't, wouldn't be best. And, it wouldn't be hard to do. No. Uh -uh. Got a tack drive distributor, so a bunch of go faster stuff. This car must just scream down the road. Mm -hmm. It does. It runs very, very good, yeah. So what was the history of this car? Where did this... Uh, where was this car from? This car was bought and sat in Maryland um, until 